Hi, I want to use the JSON web encryption standard to encrypt a purchase order from a web checkout. So first thing uh, we're going to look at is the NPN package, JSON object signing and encryption. The reason JWE exists is because if you were to encrypt some data with a certain algorithm, the person who wants to decrypt it or program that wants to decrypt it needs to know that algorithm. And what JWE does is create a standard for packaging all the information together. Uh, one other package um, I'm going to use is dot and okay and and this package lets us put environment variables in a dot env file that is where i'm going to put the created public and private keys if dot env doesn't contain private and public keys then create them. We go down here and we've got key pair or secret generation. Now we're going to be using asymmetric key pairs. So here we have an example of the function generate key pair. Now the parameter is the um, algorithm identifier. Now when this runs, we will enter this code block and generate the public and private key. Let's go down in the documentation and we've got export functions. So if I do look at the export private key, first of all, copy this, paste that, look at the public key version. Copy that. Now if I run this, we've got what looks like a public key and a private key. Uh, now in this environmental file, we have a public key and a private key. So the next thing to do is encrypt some data. We have JSON web encrypt. The compact encrypt class is a utility for creating compact JWE strings. So copy that. Now when I run this, it will create the encrypted JWE string. Okay, so the encryption type must be the type of the, the, the keys. Okay, so here on section 4.1, we've got uh, the set of algorithm header parameters which are suitable for JWE. And so I needed to create a, a uh, key pair using this algorithm. My encryption uses this algorithm, so I needed to make sure that my key used that algorithm. So I've generated a new key. And now if I run this, I get an error, of course. In this section of the, the code, I'm getting the human readable format of the private key and public key. But I need the um, object format of the keys. Here we go. Public key import. Okay, and now I need to do the same for the private key. So now we've encrypted it. Now let us decrypt it. Decrypt. Uh, there we go. 
we've created a public and a private key if it doesn't exist in the environment file if not we read it from the environment file then we encrypt some text to a JWE string we split that JWE string into its parts and we uh, get its header which is just uh, base64 encoded and then we decrypt the the cipher text. So next I'm gonna make a use case for this. Okay, so here I've got a mock online store and I'm gonna buy this really cool shirt. So I put one in my shopping basket and then once I've made payment with the privacy crypto of my choice to the merchant, I will get a transaction ID. And then if I fill out the rest of the purchase order information, I can then encrypt that information and then send that to the merchant. So he has all of this information so he can process the order and send me this really cool shirt. One last thing to tie it all together is that a merchant could quite easily automate retrieving the emails and decrypting the purchase orders so that he can then send out these really cool shirts. So here I've got a decrypted purchase order. That's a use case for JSON web encryption.